I am at seven. I missed the appointment. No. I gotta say, um, I've heard I am at seven. So I'm back to the work. That was the work. Um, I'm just talking about iOS 7, so if you don't have to take it. You can have to say yes. No. That was the work part of the show, and uh, that was the action part, and now we're going to do the dialogue part of the show, which is you asking me questions about your work and your creative process, and if you are out watching us on live stream, what is the uh, watch me work SLP with the hashtag new play. Watch me work SLP hashtag new play, and we'll answer your questions right here. Does anybody have anything? Questions? Yes. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Stacy. Hey, Stacy. I um, I am a playwright that's currently working on a screenplay. Yeah. And um, I'm kind of I'm new to the medium. I like it. I think. And I'm currently writing a feature, my first one. And I have all of these wonderful rich characters who can only be on screen for a finite amount of time. And I'm having trouble deciding who's the protagonist because it's all of their stories. It's right. the story of this group. Right. Right. And I guess you can, when I think about stuff like, I don't know, The Breakfast Club, or so, but I'm, I'm thinking of films yeah. where they were a collective. Right. <laughs> that owned the story right. where there was a, an ensemble piece, I guess. Right. But since it's my first one, it's a, I, I feel like it's a little ambitious and I don't know. Like, I know where they start and I know where they, they end, right. but I, I don't necessarily know who the story should start with. You see what I mean? Like, it's, I feel like there should be a clear protagonist, but I don't know if there is, because I mean, each of their stories is individually interesting. Right. And they're all related. So Stacey's writing the screenplay. She writes a lot of plays, and she's writing the screenplay. And she has lots of characters that interest her. And she's thinking it's probably not a trauma piece, but she's also feeling that it. <laughs> no. She's also feeling that it should be. There should be a clear effect. Yeah. You're fe so you're thinking that it's an ensemble piece, but you're feeling that there should be a clear effect. Which, which way you? I, I think what it is is I love all the backstories that I've created for all of them. Right. And kind of how we got here in school. Right. Right. And how we split apart and where our lives are now. Right. And I had one character that seems to be me, but at the end of the story, he wasn't. So that's what kind of threw me off. So like by the end of the story, he was no longer right. about. It was no, it was no longer about him, but more so how everybody else related to him. That's all right. So, so what you can do, you can do some like, you know, like close your eyes right now, okay? And your movie's like starting. You see? Yeah. Okay. That's it. So go with him. Just go with him. Go with him. And if it, you know, if it ends like it ends, you know, it, it will be the story of how he, how we started watching him and then got involved in the lives of his same friends. But yeah, go with what you got now. And you can always rewrite it. You know, you're gonna rewrite it. So start with what you got. And don't fight that because then you're just fighting what you've already got in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it sounds very cool. It's, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Can you get in my Yeah. Okay, right, right. So yes. we'll see. Yes. Okay. Hopefully next semester. Oh good. Okay, good. Anybody else have any questions? For answers? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I guess I'm dealing with a lot of, I'm dealing with the issues that probably every artist deals with. Right. Which is procrastination. Right. I love to procrastinate. Right. I wake up early just so I can procrastinate. <laughs> Oh, uh, you really love. Remind me to never tell anybody. 
Um, I'm Ari. Uh, I'm a costume designer. And at the beginning of this, I took the time to like write about why I like to procrastinate. And I think it's like fear of like really being vulnerable and putting yourself out there and putting right. down your ideas. Right? So I just don't know how to like battle that. Your passion. Yeah. Right. That's a really good question. So Ari has the procrastination. It's, I love it. So you even get up early so you can procrastinate. Dude, one hour early because I know it's going to be me like getting coffee and checking my email. Right, and, right. Okay, you know. So you're, so you're working with it. You're actively working with it. Um, I think uh, getting past it might imply in your mind getting past your procrastination might make you think it might make us think that it's a one-time thing right it's like a hill if we can only get walk past the hill you know what i mean it will be behind us and we'll be like those people we imagine who are free of procrastination i imagine i just started thinking this yesterday so it might not have any weight but i imagine procrastination did anybody see the hobbit no the most the, the hobbit movie. You know, there's that, there's that light colored white adzog, you know? He has no hair. He's a monster. He's kind of a mean guy. He has no hair. He cut off somebody's head. He's like very muscular and he's not very articulate. And then do I translate what he says because no one can understand what he's talking about. And he kills people, he cuts off their head. I imagine that is my resistance. There he is, you know, whenever I'm feeling him. And there's no like getting around him forever. He's a big muscular guy. He's gonna track me down wherever you are. I'm gonna find you. Wherever I am, he's gonna find me, right? So it's more about just learning how to deal with them on a day to day basis. And maybe you've got some strategies. You get up early. Can you hear me okay? Come back in there. Okay. You get up early in the morning, that's good. So you can do a little planning, right? Sometimes you have to take little steps. What are you doing? You take little steps. Yeah, you do. Right? I mean, right. But sometimes you gotta do that. Or I'm just gonna sit here at my see writer's work at, you know, with the paper and the pen and the typewriter and whatnot. But designers, you know, I'm just gonna sit here with my whatever, my paintbrushes or my collage pieces and just move them around, kind of, right? And he's like, oh, you're just moving them around, you're not gonna do anything. You'll go bother, you know, whatever. He'll go look at himself in the mirror and make sure he's like looking good. You see what I mean? So you have to kind of constantly be thinking of strategies to outwit him for five minutes. You know, I mean, it's a constant. It, just so you know, you're an artist, so it'll probably never go away. You have it for life. It's always something you're going to have to be dealing with. What I found is the smarter I get, the bigger this monster gets. He's bigger. Oh, shit, he's huge. He's enormous. Oh, man, he's And he's even less articulate. And it's, like, it goes on and on and on. Okay? So just know that it's something you're going to have to deal with forever, and you keep changing up your game, okay, and watch The Hobbit, really, that movie, because he's a little guy with, like, really wide feet, and he wins, right, he wins a bit, and you've got to think of yourself like you're a little hobbit warrior, or you're an elfin princess, you know, and you just kind of think of, like, I have five million ways to get through this today. And some days you don't get through it. Some days you win and it comes off your head. But your head will go back. Okay, so those just keep on keeping on. That's the real, okay? And just so, like, artists who have had productions and successes in Broadway or whatever still have to deal with that shit. It doesn't go away. I deal with it. I know, you know, well-known, you know, ooh-la-la -la writers artists who all the time. Okay? So welcome to the club. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody
over here. You don't want me to do my impersonation of Adzal? Is that your name? Adzal? Adzal. And then you sign up for this. And you walk in the Right? I know. He has no hair and he has black hair. No? Yeah. Nobody had the answer. Okay. Anybody? Are you sure you're not gonna like when you leave? You're gonna have some burning thing like, oh shit, I should have asked her and now uh I can uh 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 uh